Welcome back to the workshop. Welcome back. We're going to be making our own underfoot pedal box. From scratch. My name is Oliver, and this is my dad, Andrew. He's a wicked engineer and my next door neighbor. We've always wanted to build a car together. So when I found my dream car in nightmare condition, we decided to embrace it, seize the day, and re-engineer the entire car from scratch. Let's look at more and more like a car every single day. A K20 A2 from a Honda. A make your own gear knob kit. There you go. <laughs> this might take a while. Things don't always go to plan. But when they do, it's a thing of beauty. Building a car and making memories with my dad. One of one, this is Project Mosquito. So these, this basically is our two pedals, our, our clutch pedal and our brake pedal. They'll be slightly lighter when they go in the car. This might take a while. So this is our, our brake adjuster, and obviously we've got to machine this now out to fit this into there. So now what I've got to do is make a first plate for the lathe. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is, what we've got here is, is a Honda CRV hub that came with the back suspension. We can adapt this to bolt into the chuck, and then I can then bolt this onto the first plate. So basically, we've done all of this just to, just to drill a really precise hole. Yeah. So, slicey, slicey. The more you can do with what you've got, rather than what you haven't got, the less excuses you have not to do it. Really good news is, the more holes we drill in it, the less there is to polish. The pedal we made in the last episode, if I'm honest, it's a bit lardy. Um, so what we're gonna do is gonna give it a diet. So what we're going to make our accelerator pedal out of? A bicycle crank arm, specifically a Japanese made Shimano Dura Ace crank arm. I'm going to drill two hot 28 mil holes. I'm going to bolt these together to make them one piece and then I'm going to file the front edge square and file the bottom edge square to each other. And it always sits perfectly fine and the holes always line up perfectly. 
We found a use for our Haspo engine mount. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all our Patreon supporters for sponsoring this week's video, especially our Slicks tier, uh, Alex Bottomley, Andy Wood, Doug Schott and Steve Schrieffer. Thank you very much. They're like knife, fork, spoon. They're not a matching set as in three identical pedals.
Absolutely, every single one of these holes needs to be exactly perfect, not to itself, but to where every single other hole is, because this one has to be right to this. So obviously we've made our own pedal box and we need to now make it slide. Put your foot, yes. put your feet on top of the cylinders. Yeah. Yeah. Comfy? Uh, yes. Do you know, it's not that much difference. Is it not? No, because genetically women have longer legs than men. Yes, they do. Bodies. They're like velociraptors. Women have long legs and short arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to need... You're gonna need about 10 mil. Our pedal box needs a gurney bubble. <laughs> My mum has kindly given us her chopping board from the kitchen. And uh, kitchen chopping board, pedal slide as it is. Nice, there's enough play in there. You know, if, if we'd, it would have been, I think you had smaller feet, it would have made it easier. But we haven't. We've got to deal with the sizes we have and yeah, the sizes I'm, we can't. I'm not cutting toes, man. No. Exactly 280 mil. My favourite part of making anything is the moment it goes from looking like stuff to looking like a thing. And there's no, there's no sideways movement at all. It's not going like this. It's, it's, it's really got a grip. That bit's in there, our spring goes in there, and then this screws in. This is a noodle. Like, obviously it's very difficult to push backwards and forwards when you don't have a proper lever and it's not bolted to anything. Yeah. That's, that's the most difficult thing. I'm wrestling with springs and stuff on the bench. Yep. But it does work. It does... Right. Is that just with your fingers? Yeah.
he went over a lot. You didn't get a you didn't get a tub of warm warm soapy water. You were lucky if you could conjure up half a cup of cold sick. <laughs> and with this much to do, I'll be rubbing down to it, nubs. So thank you all for watching. Please be awesome to each other and we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.